Hello one and all, welcome to Exhibition of Speed, and you join me here in a 2018 Mazda 6 Turbo. This was lent to us by one of our lovely viewers named Jaden, who was very kind and allowed us to take this car for the day to Antelope Island, where you now find us with beautiful snow-cupped mountains and lovely views. So, why did we want to review a Mazda 6 Turbo? Seemingly to some, probably a pretty normal car. But we have an idea on Mazda that them as a company has been doing in this little while. I'll get to that in a minute. First, onto the car. So, this car has been redesigned from the past generation um, in the last couple of years to be fantastic as an everyday driver. All the touch points are great. It's got leather at, you know, surfaces everywhere rather than hard plastic. It's got minimal black plastic in certain places. The trim is great. You know, all of the things that you associate with on a daily basis are great. They're tactile, you know, they're functional. They lead you to want to use the car and actually be able to live with it. Um, on top of with the way that this powertrain operates, it's torquey and good down low, great for passing, great for driving, and still good on economy. This car's rated for 31 miles per gallon on the freeway, and you'd probably get a little better than that if you were going a little slower. As a daily driver car, this ticks pretty much all the boxes as far as what you're gonna be concerned about with going on the daily. But there's benefits besides that. For kind of a smaller mid-sized sedan, there's a decent amount of room in the back. It's got a good trunk space, and you know, really even cup holders are good. All the ergonomics are great. They did a great job overall designing this car with minimal drawbacks. I mean, one of, the, one of which to me is Mazda's infotainment functions great, but I'm just personally not a big fan of click wheel control type things. Um, but other than that, everything's fantastic. The looks of the car are great as well on the outside. It's, this has the Crystal Soul red metallic paint job, which was a $595 option, which I think is well worth it. This paint is gorgeous. Probably one of the best red colors out there. This also has the 19 inch wheels and the slightly bigger brakes with the turbo model. You know, all the normal little features that come with this car. Um, and just so you're aware, this car ticks at just a hair above 30,000 with that paint job fantastic deal. But now I'm going to kind of get into the meat and bones of why we wanted to drive this car and why we think Mazda as a brand is becoming the forerunner of the enthusiast market or one of them. So we here at Exhibition of Speed have kind of a thesis on Mazda as a brand. You look at any car they've made in the past three years, they've gone to extravagant lengths to keep their cars at roughly the same price, but build their cars to be visceral and tactile and very much a driver's car, even though it's a standard car. Even their entry-level SUV that they unveiled a few years ago, the CX-5, which has now been you know, replaced by an even more entry-level, the CX-3, both of those for SUVs are outstanding to drive. And this Mazda 6 is no different. From the previous generation, which was fairly basic in how it was designed to be a car, although it was good, it wasn't great by any means, this has set a whole new ball game for $30,000 and under cars to try to hold up to in value. Because you get so much for your money. You're not sacrificing in getting a normal family sedan the sport that you had, but you're also not sacrificing the comfort. You've got the best of both worlds for a good price. And we think that they're starting to get into a stride of where a lot of companies were in the late 90s, early 2000s, where cars even at the bottom end of some of the ranges were still very good in certain brands like BMW and Mercedes, etc. The cars felt tight and taut, even though they were not by any means the sportier versions of their models. And Mazda's pretty much done that with every car they have now. Even their full-size SUV, the CX-9, does that as well. And this car, um, being the turbo is in the middle of the lineup. You can get a version of this car called the Inscription that's even further along where you get real wood grain trim, heated and cooled seats, and basically make it an entry level luxury car that still has this same powertrain and engine. So you're still getting the performance, but now you're even getting entry level luxury on top of all of the great things that come with this platform. And 
at thirty thousand dollars this car you know you're getting 230 horsepower from the 2.5 liter engine you're getting 310 foot pounds of torque you're getting a rev matching six speed auto you've got adaptive cruise control lane keep assist you've got all the good modern safety features a backup camera navigation you've got a package that's amazing and I think that what they've done here is they've gone through and done some things that were controversial. They got rid of all their Mazda Speed models, which you know a lot of people hated, but they took that money and redeveloped the entire brand. Instead of spending you know hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars into developing two models that are sportier and serve a very small amount of the populace, they went across the whole brand, washed it, and elevated everything up to a newer level to where, you know, when you get the fully loaded version of this car, it feels like an entry-level luxury car. It feels like it almost competes with, like, an Audi A4 or a Mercedes C-Class. We're getting to a point that Mazdas are going to be taken over. It's amazing. And by no means is it compromised. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I think that where they're at right now, considering every car across the lineup has pretty much the same feelings, the same great gestures, um, the same performance specs, it's only up from here. And so far, they've set a standard that needs to be kept by most other auto manufacturers because if you look at what this car competes with at for thirty thousand dollar price range you know mid-level camrys base level toyota avalons mid-level honda accords uh, to a lesser degree a kia optima sx turbo for a little bit lesser price those cars are all good this car is great for its price point and it's very difficult to beat and so I'm hoping that this car kind of shoves a pitchfork into the back of all the other manufacturers to get their heads out of the ground and actually produce something that somebody wants to drive and somebody can feel passionate about while it's not a sport model. That's the biggest degradation of most of these cars is that they're just an appliance. This makes you want to drive it and own it and live with it, even if you're in no way, shape, or form a car person. And it's hard to put a price on that. But Mazda's done it for $30,695. Anyways, fantastic car, fantastic day. If any of you live in Utah, come check out Antelope Island at some point. It's gorgeous and you'll love it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe below and be watching for more videos to come every month. Take care.